We're gonna wrap up our You Can Do It workout plan with some core, yep. especially for the ladies, hot spot. Absolutely. Get it toned, get it tighter. That's it. Get One it slim. Them, get it slim. So let's take you through the first exercise. It's called the chair bird dog. Okay. Okay, you're gonna put your hands just about hip width apart. Okay. Okay. Arms nice and straight. Okay. Shoulders depressed. And then you're gonna lift yourself off the bench. So we're scooting forward about an inch. Okay. Okay, now when you're here, all I want you to do is you're gonna raise your right leg and your left arm at the same time. You're doing these right arm, left legs, left leg, right. Okay. And you wanna engage your quads while you're doing this. It'll keep your okay. leg nice and straight. Hold for three seconds and bring it back down. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right, same side, let's do it one more time. Bring your leg out, squeeze, hold, and bring it back down. So back nice and straight, perfect, okay. get perfect posture. Let's try it one more time. Good. They have to go at the same time? Same time. Hold it, two, one, and bring it back. We'll do about eight to 10 reps of this. Okay, so we'll try the second side. Good, and this is a tough exercise, so I would definitely recommend before just jumping into it, just practice holding the position, making sure your shoulders can handle it. Okay. And then maybe working the arm, working the leg, then bringing them up together. Good idea. What okay. if we don't have a bench? Chair? Uh, you can use a chair, absolutely. You can use a chair, you could use, um, I wouldn't say a stool, but just something where you have enough space to sit on and you okay. can put your hands as well. Number two is gonna be the write your name plank. So we're gonna start off with a stability ball, and this is a good size. Um, again, you could go smaller, bigger, but we use a 65 centimeter stability ball here. Okay. okay. So kneel down in front of it, you're gonna put your elbows right in the center of the ball. Pop up your hips so you have a nice straight line. Okay, hands together, and you're just gonna write your name, nice small letters, first and last name, over and over again. Okay. And you wanna do that for about 30 to 45 seconds. So let's start off on your knees. On knees? Okay, yep, okay. just get yourself situated. And you can bring your elbows a little bit further forward. Great. Okay. okay, and then when you bring your body up in the air, you wanna make sure everything is completely straight so you don't want your hips to sag, you don't want your chin to drop. Perfect, good and write the name, keeping your body completely still. Good, 10 more seconds. G-A-L-I-R-D-I dot. Five, four, <laughs> dot. three, two, one, and come on oh, down. That is tough. It is tough. So obviously if we wanna modify this. If you wanna modify the exercise, I, I suggest starting on the ground first without the ball, so just a regular plank. Okay. And then once you're strong enough there, move on to the ball, and then once the ball becomes too easy, Start throwing in your name. You could do circles, 20 to the left, 20 to the right, or you can even write the alphabet. Your husband's name, your pet's name. Your pet's name, your husband's name. Mine was Seymour, that would be fun. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining us. I know that if I can do it, you guys can do it too. And Joe, thank you so You're much welcome. for the great exercise. Glad you liked it. Thanks.